the diary 29th of January actually it's now the 30th because it's one o'clock in the morning 2018 AJ Miller is the Antichrist he calls himself God he calls himself Jesus which is the name of God AJ Miller is the Antichrist He calls himself God, he calls himself Jesus, I know I just said all that twice, it's just um, dawned on me and um, I thought shall I think about this and then just kind of hearing a voice sort of say just make the video. talks about um, pain the people who have listened to his teachings have suffered he does speak truth and enough truth get people hooked but he taints taints the picture of it he talks up sex he supports gays he absolutely goes against drugs, cannabis, claims a lot of things, goes on and on about addictions, I can see clearly now the rain has gone Boy And I was suckered in God, my vision has become so clear Sounds totally far fetched. <laughs> Seems ridiculous. Antichrist. The word Christ I've been um, thinking about quite a lot lately. Um, I uh, I watched the video of John in the Gospel. Um, Yeshua was on must have been really high on mushrooms when he 
If you listen to the whole film of the Gospel of John, man, he's saying some stuff. He, and it occurred to me while watching this, that he's, what he's talking about is something I've felt very recently, being part of this eternal tree of life and feeling that eternal entity is I guess the, but in the sense that we are all one that one entity love yet if we're all on this tree of eternal life and one point we didn't exist we are a new branch like David Vose puts it we are the heirs of this eternal tree of life is going to carry on growing and we are we are the heirs, we are the new little buds and so when Yeshua is saying these things in the Gospel of John yeah it just really made me think he's speaking as though he is that so he's speaking with that, he's, he's allowing that voice to speak th through him, in a sense. And we are all, all of us, we are all this, Christ. So anti-Christ, anti-love. Give yourself the name of God, armed with a few truths. So my mate was right all the time. <laughs> Adam, Adam Potter, <laughs> not Adam Potter, Ad Potter, Ad B, you were right. Rob Pinkham, you were right. But it's still very new. Um, anyway, and then, you know, so this Christ word, you know, I, they're attributing Christ word to love, the, the one love that exists. So was A.J. Miller Yeshua? Probably not. That's weird. You know. Like I've always been kept, kept saying, you know, I'd be eternally grateful to him for these few core truths that when I first listened to his videos I didn't particularly believe at the time. I had believed them or I had pondered on them and it was hearing someone else be so sure. And sort of confirm it that led to me feeling it feeling truth feeling of soul so how could someone giving that be the Antichrist Yeah. 
Perhaps I shouldn't have made the video so quick. Hmm. It may be that um, Yeah, it may be that you know he doesn't want there to be a Christ. I mean, I've gleaned. You know, I've always had this question, did I meet him in Africa? And I gleaned some information from his interview that he's done in his recent videos. He's been interviewed by Vice. By Vice. And um, he says... So he said something which made me think, oh, it can't be him. And um, he said uh, he'd never been, you know, he was talking about sort of certain points in his life when he'd realised stuff and that. And, and he said he'd never been travelling and, and I think he was on about either he was 29 or 32 that he'd never been travelling. But then he said he'd been to America 30 or 40 times. And he's only... What, uh, 55 now. So, you know, you'd be... Okay, so say he was going twice a year, 30 or 40 times, that would be a period of 20 years. So I'd take it back to 35, okay. But the way he said he'd never even been travelling, it was like... as if he'd done then a lot of travelling. So he could have visited the UK and then gone and run around Africa by the time he's 34 and then that's how old he would have been if, I, if, it, if it was him I met. And, but I do remember whoever this was I met in that mud hut Australian guy. When he told me his name, Alan, I can remember Alan, but if, say if it wasn't Alan, say if it was like, you know, Matt or Tony or something, right? But then he said, but most people call me, and I definitely remember that. It was, my name is Dada, but most people call me Dada. And, you know, a couple of initials, AJ, it just, that sounds right. But this guy told me that he'd been in the UK twice before. I seem to remember there being a, quite a substantial time difference. And he said he was looking for his, or something about his father. His father had some rights to being a UK citizen or something. And, and he kind of was trying to get that citizenship but he said both times that he nearly got blown up by the IRA <laughs> so I don't know maybe at this stage you know he also said things like God's a bastard and I remember him crying like I remember lying in bed and I can hear sobbing and that's what it disturbed me but so whether he was just a compulsive liar at that stage and just said he got blown up by the IRA and they'd been to the UK twice, you know, maybe that was just nonsense, I don't know, but it is is looking quite possible it wasn't him, but you know he still won't confirm or deny it. Maybe that's because he's the Antichrist.
Zah. Well, I don't know if I'm going to upload this. <laughs> I don't think I will for the moment. It's too gappy. Be annoying to watch. I need to think about it. 